Hey guys, how you doing? Martin here from Azure's Armoury. Got a couple of builds going out that we thought we'd give you a look at before we ship them out the door. A couple slightly different, slightly more unique to what we normally do, I guess you could say. Um, so we'll start from the littlest at the bottom. This is an ARP9. So it uses the smaller stick mag as opposed to the big M4 mag. It's a full Aztec build in the nylon HLF type receiver. So obviously it's got the short M16 buttstock. It's got a GBU speed cannon on the front, and it's a full Aztec build. So that's full CNC scythe, as you can see from the nice copper. It's a Aztec Apache tapetless cylinder head, Aztec adjustable T-piece. That one's 12 to 1 gears, running an SHS high torque motor. And it's got to be tuned down a little bit, so it's going to be running around about 330 feet per second. Specific for indoor venues like Crossfire up in Narang, at Narangba. So around about 34, 35 feet per second. Sounds absolutely brutal because of the, the speed cannon on the front. As you can see, we look in the muzzle there, it's oh, gel's falling out. It's just the inner barrel type hop-up sat on the stainless barrel. So it's uh, quite a nice amplifier in there. Um, so it will be tuned down to about 330 FPS. It's running really, really, really sweet at the moment. It sounds absolutely beautiful. Um, but again, it's an Aztec scythe in the ARP type receiver. The adjustable T-piece, if you zoom in on there or look in tight, you can see the yellow tape in there, which is the thread tape. So this is one of the main reasons why we designed the adjustable T-piece, is giving that nearly two millimeters worth of extension that allowed for the ARP9 fitting. The only thing that Shannon did have to do is shorten the T-piece depth-wise because it was too long for where it seats into the magazine. The other one on the table here is also a nylon receiver, but this one is the APS M933, also running an Aztec scythe, so it's the black scythe CNC receiver. It's also running the APS T-piece, as you can see the yellow thread tape there just for the tuning phase. Apache tap up a cylinder head, same basic build as the ARP, it is 12 to 1 gears, SHS high torque, both are running, as you can see on the stickers here, the amazing gate Aston MOSFET. I don't know why anyone would be running anything other than that these days. Um, Aztec barrel, this one it will be shortened, but just for the tuning phase, the customer is yet to decide what he wants to do at the noisy end, so we've just left the stainless barrel, it needs to be shortened down upon his request. So similar kind of spec, three, uh, sorry, 34 kind of FPS. I believe this one's around about 370 FPS at the moment. Again, that needs to be turned down. Um, I believe it needs to be around about that 330. Same deal, that's where the customer wants it for use everywhere. But two nylon receivers with full CNC Aztec builds. A lot of people might say, why do the Aztec build in the, in the polymer receiver? Wait. This is really, really light. In fact, it's lighter than this. Um, that nylon receiver really does drop down some weight. Um, this one in particular, being such a tiny package, once the mag's in there, it looks absolutely weenie, but is an absolute brute of a powerhouse. So ideal for racing around indoor, where areas are tight and everything is, um, you know, on the limits of CQB. The last but not least here, you may have seen this one before. This one is an existing Azrael build. It's been out there for a while. Um, it is a scythe, full work. So this one is the Warhead 36K, 12 to one gears, short stroked about four teeth to keep up with that premature engagement. It's just come back in for an Apache and the adjustable T-piece. So this one, I believe, is over 400 FPS at around about that 38, 39, 40 FPS. Uh, sorry, rounds per second. It is running the really, 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 really trick um, Turnigy Graphene battery. So these are the 75C discharge. So you always get one or two rounds per second more than pretty much any other battery, even though the big EU batteries that we use are a 120, sorry, 130 burst and 65 discharge. These graphenes are just absolute beasts. So let's plug them in. Uh, we've got some freshly made 
X-Tac Boom Gels, fresh already in the mags. Not gonna try shoving batteries away, we just don't have the time on the video. So we'll come to the window, <coughs> just prime up the mag. Pretty noisy. So we'll just shoot some through the chrono. Can't really remember what the FPS was on this one. So it's just on that 335, 340. Um, we'll give it a bit of a squirt on auto. 344, 344, 352, 345, 348. So needless to say, it's just shy of 350 FPS. So we'll drop the gels out and we'll see how much it distorts the mic. So obviously when you're at this end of the blaster, all you're really going to hear is a bit of mechanical noise, but from this end, As we know from experience, we just need to let that mic come back to normality because these distort it and blow it to pieces. So really cool, small setup, tiny at both ends um, for indoor. All right, let's jump to the M933. Again, this is the gate Asta, full size internals, rocking a little bit more FPS. So we'll go into semi-auto. Oh, I need a mag. Before we do that, let's shoot it without the mag. Really snappy noise. You can see his hand moving as I shoot it. So I have to prime up the mag a little bit. That's <laughs> um, definitely punching some numbers. We'll just reset the chrono. So 350 to 360. Chrono can barely keep up with the, the rate of fire. 20, reading 28, but I haven't done a full one second burst yet. So we'll do a full second burst, see what it reads. No, I didn't do a full second still. It's reading 29, but it will be a bit higher than that. So there we go. 360s into the 370s. As I said, this one will be dropping back down as well into the um, 330s for indoor use. So I'm going to top up this mag a little bit because we just drained it. And then we'll jump onto this one. Ah, it's not plugged in. Um, so just to recap on this one, this is basically the same build, but it's the Warhead as opposed to the SHS High Torque. So a little bit quicker. Again, still an Asta. So with the suppressor on the end there. So definitely got a nice crack to it. Shove some gels in. We'll just uh, reset the chrono again. So again, this is an Apache. Aztec adjustable T-piece on the silver side. Warhead 36k 12 to 1 gears. I think we're on auto. 400 FPS. 404, 405, 402, 408, 400, 404, 3, sorry, 411, 398. So obviously we had a bit of a dud gel there at 214, but 419, 404, 407. So it's cracking some pretty big numbers. Put it in semi. Again, very consistently over 410. So 410 FPS at just shy of 40 RPS. She's a pretty quick one, being an MPX. It's got some weight to it, but it's not an overly big package. But when you put it next to the little ARP, you do see that it's a fair bit bigger. There we go, guys. That's just three full Aztec builds with the tappetless Apache, as you can see in the cabinet here. Reading, head out the door, back home. All right, I'll leave it with you with the full Aztec Innovations cabinet.
working from left to right, adjustable triggers, extreme triggers, pre-timed tappet plates, CNC mag releases for APS pistols, uh, high-end, very high-grade piston, 10 to 1 SCM 440 stainless steel hardened gears, Apache tappetless cylinder head, both airsoft and gelbull variant. Airsoft is not available in Australia. Adjustable T-piece, adjustable drop stock, CNC 7075 grade scythe gearbox, 7.25 mil barrels, Aztec Innovation silicon oil, and prototypes of the coming very shortly Muzzle Tech V2 hop ups.